Hello there. My name is Jay and I like to build BMX bikes. Uh, I got my uh, kid into it. We're having all kinds of fun. Uh, I'll give you some history there. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, I had a 87 GT Pro Freestyle. That was one that I had built not that long ago, but it was the same bike. I had it stolen. Guy that lived in the neighborhood bought this, didn't ride it, and I bought it from him. And that was basically my last bike. And uh, I got my driver's license, and we went from there. Now, <clears throat> back when uh, 2013, I was te teaching my five year old how to ride. I was down at my mom's house, my brother's 91 comp. I have it here, I don't have a picture of it. Uh, was in my mom's basement. I dragged it home, fixed it up, hopped on the bike with him on his little bike, and he learned how to ride a bike that day. From then on, uh, friends told me about a site called BMX Museum because I needed parts for the bike. None of the local bike shops had anything. Uh, and then once I seen all that on there, all the parts and all the bikes that all come rushing back. Uh, so these two bikes here are built with some old original stuff and some reissue stuff. We'll kind of go through that and kind of so you can kind of see what, what that's all about. Uh, these are both two restores. Uh, kind of a, an old couple old weathered frames I guess that were restored and redeckled. Um, makes them look brand new, uh, powder coat, you can drop it off all rusty, and when you get it back, it looks brand new again. Um, some people like that, some people don't, some people like Survivor stuff, I have some of that stuff here too, we'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, we'll start with the 500B Redline 1985. Um... From afar, you would think that would be exactly what you'd get from in 1985. Um, reissue parts on this guy are the rims, the pedals, seat post clamp, the grips, and the, I'm not sure about these, uh, uh, chain rings, but that's uh, MCS and the tires I got they were NOS, but I'm not sure if they're from back in the 80s or not uh, in my mind I'm always about feel and the bike looks exactly the way it was when I was a kid so uh, I'm good with it um, some people will you know, they need it all 100% uh, uh, old school stuff um just to let you know that bike right there eleven hundred dollars canadian which is probably in around the uh, eight nine hundred dollars american so that's what it cost um i got it kind of kind of a kit uh, i put the cranks on it uh Sagino gt's uh, the pedals are SE, so they're kind of like a copy uh, Sun Tour, reasonably priced. Again, for me, it's all about the feel, and if I was a little kid back in 1985, then that would have worked for me. That there looks pretty close to the original. There's one right here that is original on the old Haro here. So you can see at the end of the day, uh, it does, it, it looks the part to me. This is a red line seat. I don't know if you can see that. And then, the, so yeah, you can buy the tires new, rims new, the pedals new, seat, seat post, seat post clamps new. Uh, wouldn't be able to get that seat, but they have the, uh, Cashamax seats. I have one out in the uh, bay. I'll show you that after. Um, you can buy handlebars new. This come with the bike. These handlebars come with the bike. 
Um, so that, if you want it to look brand new, that's how to do it. Now, the, doing this type of stuff, it's kind of like a father-son project, and, they, and you can do it up pretty quick. You can buy it all new, and it goes together all nice. If you want it to look new, the powder coat's the way to go. This guy here, he's got old-school Yukai rims. Um, those cranks and disc, uh, Sejino, are the, actually the original cranks off of that Haro 1985. This guy's got the uh, reissue Diacomp brakes. They're outside of this being inscribed on the old ones. Um, I think I got one up over here. Uh, they're not much different. They work perfect and uh, you don't have to play with them. Uh, to get them uh, to make them look pretty again. Same with the levers. Those are a reissue. They work just fine. Mushroom mold uh, reissue grips. The seat's old school. Uh, kind of looks to fit the bike. It's not the exact seat that would have been on the bike. But it uh, works for me. Uh, MCS seat posts. They're... Uh, that's new uh, reissue today. Whether it's reissue or not, I'm not sure. I don't remember MCS. Back in the day when I was looking at seat posts, it was more uh, Odyssey and Tioga and that kind of stuff. GT laybacks. The tires I bought brand brand new. Again, they're just uh, copy uh, Comp 3s. Uh, SR Nex old school. Uh, not a lot of people... Uh, are big on these because they come on uh, kind of the lower end bikes. But uh, uh, if I can do front hops on the bike and it holds me, I'm good to go. Those are brand new handlebars, Pro Max, uh, old school look. I just put the red line sticker on it. Uh, again, it's all about feel. Uh, this bike's 1984 ST20, and uh, it does everything that I need it to do. And uh, it shows very well, and uh, ni uh, probably uh, 900 and, uh, 9,999 people out of 10,000 would not know the difference anyway. So as for uh, father-son project, you can get these frames reasonable. If you wanted to restore one, you drop it off at the powder coat guy. Uh, frame of forks a hundred bucks and then usually you can grab the decals for around 50 bucks us It's a fun project if you wanted to go uh, original old school stuff and kind of get it uh, it Needed a little bit of work then it's a uh, it, it's fun to do that too and then you can get the whole thing uh, original OG and uh, old school stuff and uh, go from there so there's another one of them. They got all the colors. And that's what's cool. The When I started into this stuff, it was all about the chrome and the anno colors, early 80s stuff. And uh, I uh, ended up uh, getting an old uh, Norco brand new and with the chrome and blue. And that's what I remember. Uh, the other guys had all the higher end stuff. It just looked awesome. By the time I finally really got into it, the freestyle was coming on big. And then, uh, the old, uh, chrome and anno stuff really didn't have it anymore. So we kind of stepped over that stuff looking for the new stuff. This is a project I got. Uh, it's basically a slap together. I got it in a, you know, lots of the parts are in the box. It's all uh, old school stuff, uh, sumo rims, I'm not sure on the cranks, they're uh, Taiwan, uh, I'm assuming the bike's a Viper, uh, I know it's been redeckled, that's so what that guy told me, there's the, your diamond back neck, and then uh, these are a reissue Hush Pro, bar, Hush Pro bars, um, that's going to be another one I'm just going to slap together and Go from there. There's see there you go here. Uh, blue anno levers, couple blue anno calipers. 
and then uh, the seat post clamp. You can cut, kind of buy all this stuff as a kit, and uh, then if you find something no chrome, chrome frame, then you can slap her together. They sell these brand new, fifty bucks. Old school seats can run you up to two hundred bucks for the right one. Uh, I just got a stash of parts here. It's all random stuff. So if something comes in, then I can kind of slap it together. There's another one, Diamondback. Z rims. I ended up getting on a trade. The guy didn't want to lace them, so I put them all together. Tires are brand new. Another one of them seats. Again, you can get the these calipers in red, all the colors. I kind of ended up with a few of these uh, three-piece cranks. Just had to set up the bottom brackets. So they're good to go. Another SR neck on that one. And then that's the Diamondback bars for that uh, Pacer 500. Original seat post clamp. So again, another mix. I do have a an old seat I had on the bike. I'll probably put it back on. And then just to show you the pedals, these are Haro Fusion, brand new, uh, Shimano DX style. I can show you exactly what they look like. In comparison, I'm having trouble finding any different I've never, I have seen these brand new back when I was a kid, but at the time they were getting discontinued and they were kind of, they were still an expensive pedal and you couldn't even, it was whatever was left over. And these ones, uh, 1981, 82, you know, they're starting. But uh, So this bike here, 102B, uh, that's the Pro Neck, uh, uh, chain ring setup, uh, Takei guy chromoly uh, crank arms, they're reasonably priced to buy, used, another one of them, uh, uh, reissue seat post clamps, Diacomp, that's a Nido uh, seat post layback, it's more of the, more of the angle of the old GT, uh, they kind of lightened up on the angles on most of the reissue seat posts these days. There's one of them reissue cash and max seats and original ones. Actually quite a bit of money if you want one in nice shape. Skyway mags, they're new and uh, they come sealed and ready to rock and roll and spin forever. So that's, uh, I don't mind running those. Uh, and then you can just uh, ride all day long with uh, very little resistance. Uh, unless you're uh, sometimes when you're getting the old stuff and uh, you can get caught um, uh, you know yeah they need to be re-greased to take it all apart and then bang you're uh, got a bunch of damage to the hubs we've been there a couple times so you just got to be careful with that um, you may want to pay extra if it's already ready to rock and roll and you can kind of spin them yourself uh, that's a wind stem. They came come original on some of the lower end red lines and other expert kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. So that's another kind of a weathered one. Uh, has the original decals on it and stuff. So I just kind of you know, now and then you can, you can buy stuff that's kind of well used and put it on the bike and it all comes together. Just so that's what this bike represents. And then this this one over here. And then my rider, this one here, that's your uh, 20A86. That's a new seat. They're 50 bucks Canadian. Uh, it's a free agent seat post. It's old school, I guess. And then the seat post clamp we've had kicking around for a while. Don't know too much about that. Handle bars are actually off of Union Royce. Not sure much about them. Uh, that come off of an MT Racing uh, freestyle bike. And then I got a set of the calipers, the 883s, the newer ones. I think they're older, but I, but newer. Uh, 
don't know much about these uh, levers. They're Diacomp MX 99s. Never seen them before. Ended up with them in a group of parts. And then I've had lots of these rims because they were cheap to buy. 48s, and I'm happy with just open ball, single wall 48s. I, uh, my GT Pro Freestyle has a set. I actually got HP 48s Paragrines, the ones I just like I had when I was a kid on mine. Um, but they're hanging up, and I, the hub's damaged. Uh, all rutted on the inside of the uh, race, so whoops. But anyway, it is what it is. It's the way I got them. So these rims, uh, the brakes work awesome on it. Ghost pads up front, and then uh, whatever the original pads were on that 990 in the back work perfect with those rims. I that's the one thing about I like about these rims is I can always get the brakes to grab with uh, reasonably, you know. Uh, uh, any brake pads that they sell today, the clears or the Odyssey Ghost pads. So that's a, just a custom. It was an 87 in primer when I got it, and the guy had this color. That's kind of a 90 color. Uh, Haro uses the kind of the same color too, uh, Shocker Yellow. And uh, it's got more. Again, there's a couple of repops. I don't think there's a couple to the rims. And then everything else I think is old school on the bike. That's a nuts. Uh, dino drain pipe with the dino seat and the bars where I got them with uh, I had a chrome one my buddy had that when I was running the, my black GT Pro freestyle and then I got that one and my other buddy when we first ever got in the freestyle had this set up here and that's why that's why I built that bike and then the only other one I got hanging here it was an 89, I built this for my kid, 89 uh, GT uh, Vertical ST. And those rims are off my other kid's bike, his 91 Performer. He doesn't like mags, so he wanted the spokes. So we put the mags on this bike. Uh, any questions or comments, uh, feel free to uh, put them down and... Uh, we're going to do so. we got some other projects on the way. We're actually thinking about doing a retro build on these. We've done a few retro builds on other bikes. That frame there is a 1997, done as an 85, 86. And I've done a few other ones. This one would be, we were thinking about going the candy blue. But we might go the pink Hollywood style. Just to see if we can pull it off. This is a newer Hutch web, but it's got the uh, American bottom bracket with the like the press in cups. So it's like a mid school. I'm not sure what it is. They're 300 bucks Canadian out the door from a bike shop. And I think we got most of the parts. So we might try something like that and get the old decals and see what we can do with that. Plus, I got a 24 inch old 1981 24 inch bmx would be kind of a neat project to do too once i got out of the bikes i kind of got into this kind of stuff so it's good with the kids because they learn how to the tools and what it's all about if you can get some stuff to restore my kid is doing it he's you know sanding parts and painting them and we do have stuff that he's done i can show you pictures of that he just painted that gold it was blue or something but we've got he's done frames so he's learning how to use the spray bomb an old rough looking black bike painted it all yellow and we deckled it up it looked awesome i don't have a picture of it right now but i might be able to post it uh other than that we'll go from there and uh thanks for watching